Good morning, everyone. I hope you are all doing well this morning. I know you probably saw my video last night. Really, actually, I made that video for my kids, who um, <clears throat> two right now are in Indianapolis. One lives there, the other one's just visiting. Um, the other one is across the river in uh, East Peoria. So, and they kept saying, well, mom, it's getting bad. You um, better wake Scott up or whatever. You better <laughs> watch the weather. It's really bad over here. And it showed my daughter-in-law looked like she was in the basement. And um, I thought that, yeah, when I was looking out, it wasn't just, it was just sun and light, you know, it wasn't windy. <sighs> Anyhow, that's the second one this week. And we got a severe thunderstorm watch till I think 11, 10 or 11 this morning. They're coming to put in a new toilet here. And um, <clears throat> they had to go down to my mailbox, which for me, it's uh, too far away. Most of you guys have to just go outside your door or out to the street. I have a pillow here. It's hurt, my butt's hurt. Sorry, <laughs> I didn't mean to say that. My rear end, anyhow. Um, uh, as you all know, I have a form of COPD. And right now I'm on two different, three different inhalers. One is just a rescue inhaler. And uh, our mailbox is like a half a mile away to me. It seems like forever. It's about a half a block away. They need to put these mailboxes, they need to rearrange the trash cans. The mailbox is a little bit better around here. Not just because I'm complaining about it, but everybody is. And my, I hope this doesn't flip out. Okay, I had to put it up a little bit. Now it's crooked. Oh God. Okay. <laughs> there. Anyhow, so yeah. That's, that was my night last night. And my husband slept through the whole thing. Yeah, he just, sirens. And there was more than one. There was quite a few in, in different areas of the city going off and um now our garage door opener doesn't work it didn't work yesterday and they brought a new one different one and it what happened last night and it was very very spooky is i was sitting there and the lights which is not good for your lights it's not good for your computers your electrical your tv anything like that plug in um the lights kept surging if you know what i mean they went down dimmed really dim to where it looked like a nightlight. Everything looked like a nightlight. Everything that I had on, the TV, the lamps, uh, you know, it all dimmed. And that it did that three times with this weather. So I, I don't know. It's been crazy this year. And watch, you won't, we won't get any more or hardly any rain this summer when we really, really need it. And we needed it now too. So, um, it's humid today. Um, my hair is, if I pulled underneath, you would see that it's underneath it gets all, all this curly thing going on. But um, yeah, I've been trying to get ready for that. What I came here for, oh, I also read in the news this morning, I don't do just nice news. That's ridiculous. That's somebody else does just nice news. No, it's not nice news all the time. Um, sometimes it's the truth. And um, it's not always uh, guns and roses, not guns, <laughs> roses out there. Uh, you're, you can't see everything through rose colored glasses all the time. You have to look, but they did have a bad tornado, I guess. I saw the news headlines. I'm gonna re uh, look forward some more in Missouri and I want to say prayers for those people down there because it is I guess pretty bad and a lot of people were uh, injured and some were killed so I'm going to read more into that and that was last night and these storms going through all these places and killing these people and wiping away their homes and if you lose your power you're lucky very lucky because these people have lost a lot more than they're just their their cell phones or their revenue coming in from their uh, YouTube channel. And that's what these people are actually worried about. I'm like, wow, you gotta be out of your minds. But uh, that's greed, greed, greed. And Easter week, 
this is Easter, pretty much Easter week. I, I uh, was watching on TV the, uh, the Palm Sunday Mass and it was great. And um, I don't know, I wanted to go because my husband, even though my husband's mother doesn't really like me or really any of her children's significant others, um, I wanted to go where she always keeps a palm leaf. She doesn't even turn it back in. She just keeps it and lets it dry up <laughs> and um, and lays it all over the place. Lays, they have, she's got a bunch of them laying all over the house. Anyhow, I wanted to go and get her one this year because she was too sick to go out. She's been in the hospital. She's home now. But... Um, and I don't know, Easter Vigil's not uh, that's long. I know my husband wouldn't sit through that. So I don't have to, you know, think about Easter morning. We're not really doing anything. So what I came to you this morning with is the Believer's Box. It is a monthly box of religious Christian items. I love this box probably more than I've ever like any of my boxes so um i'm gonna get into it show you what's going on here and it's just beautiful most of the time i get beautiful stuff in it and um this box runs under 40 dollars a month if you'd like to get it um i love it i love it this month we get a t-shirt not every month you do but isn't this pretty color for spring it's a green and I love what it says. I get them really big because I want to wear them to bed or out. But anyhow, it's kind of wrinkled. But it's John 1930. And it says, it is finished. Isn't that wonderful? Isn't that a wonderful message? You know, it's beautiful. I love it. I like what it says. I like the verse. Uh, it, it's just really coarse. Everything on here revolves mostly around John 3 16 for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son and whosoever believeth in him shall not perish but have everlasting life so isn't that pretty I just love it I love the color and I love the verse so I got that in it and then I got this which I don't use these crossbody things I, I never have um, but it's pretty and it says on the front, it says, trust in the Lord with all your heart. And that is a proverb, I think. Proverbs 15. Can't make that out. Proverbs 15 something. I know it was Proverbs. But my husband had thought that with his mom, and I got that little pink bag that I got in there, pink and white bag a couple months ago, with Chris, that she goes in the hospital so much that we could give this to her. She was talking about, I guess, um, uh, taking something with some first aid items and things for herself when she goes into the hospital. So this might come in handy for her. I know she doesn't like me, but I still think about her. She's sick and uh, pray for her. And I thought this was pretty. It's very, it's, um, I don't know, it's kind of felt, it feels like felt, but it's beautiful. And I don't think you would have to, yeah, you could remove, yeah, I think so. I don't know. You'd have to cut them probably. Yeah, you can't remove that. Or if you can, I, no, you can't. But she might want to hang it from some place off her bed or whatnot, you know, to get to to things. And but anyhow, that's pretty. And I got uh, well, this I thought my husband could stick in there for him. Um, uh, this is God so loved. Uh, the this is John three sixteen, and it is a cross. And it has to and from. But I thought maybe if he wanted to stick it in the bag that I'm putting together for her. With uh, She also has lost a lot of weight. So I bought her some um, leggings. 
that I know that probably would fit anybody and long shirts and stuff that are easy to put on and comfortable to wear. Two says, and um, so that's what I bought her. And I thought maybe he could put it in here for her. Anyhow, that is so pretty. And she could use it as a bookmark, although there is a bookmark in there. And then of course we get the two little cards. And these are John 316 that we could lay around. You know, last month I got a basket together and put these little cards underneath it and put it in the laundry room. And I put it full of um, extra facial things that I had and a lot of extra things the lady down the hall from me is going through chemo and she is losing her hair and her eyebrows and things like that. So I put some things in there for that, just, just things to brighten somebody's day. And I put these in there and my landlord called me cause she knows I do this. And um, she asked me if I put that basket in there. And of course I, I can't lie. I said, yes, I did. I put it in there for the lady, you know, I was naming names. There's an 88 year old woman down the hall. that's probably got more vigor than I do. Um, she goes, well, I threw it away. She goes, I don't want any advertisement. And there was no advertisement anywhere or anything like that. So she just mean, that's my landlord. She's just mean, 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 mean woman. But anyhow, she threw these away too. She threw Christian cards apparently away. So I'll put these down there again. When is she going to get mad because I'm advertising the Bible or Jesus, God, so I will lay those down there again because they do like them. I also got some magnets. It looks like one says face. I'm not for sure. This is such a holy month. It's such a uh, month that everybody should be humble and just or just be, you know, know what it's about. This is actually in the church, at least in the Catholic church. And I know in most churches is, uh, they, it's more holier than Christmas even. So, oh, these are stickers. One says faith, how neat, and love. I love, oh, these are pretty. This is peace I leave with you. John 14, 26 through 31. I don't know how that could be like that many verses, but that's part of the verse. Um, that's pretty. And then here's another sticker that says faith over fear. I need that one a lot. And then this one says he is risen. Just stuff that you can put on people's packages and spread the word. Spread the word to everybody. And this is why I like this box. Is that not only is it for you, but it's also for you to share. I think that's that's my opinion. I share it. And, um, and I keep some of the stuff. I, I have little uh, books, you know, pair of books and things like that that they send once in a while that I love. And... Uh, Anyhow, the one month that I got that pen and everything, that's what I'm sending to my mother-in-law up. Have my husband take it over to her. Anyhow, and then we got this little card. And I don't know if it's one to hand out, but it's pretty, isn't it? Not very pretty. Faith plants the seed, love makes it grow. And then on the, that's not John 3, 16, but this little cross in it is like, I don't know, it's, it's like felt. Um, <clears throat> and if you don't want to hear this, and you're not Christian, just, you know, skip on through it or anything like that. I don't want to. Just said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. And then it says, um, and, oh, I'm going to have to take his cross out of this. It's going to tell me what this is all about. Um, oh. <laughs> well, this is interesting. This, 
cross has seeds in it, actually. It says a special paper attached to this card has seeds embedded in it to grow flowers, daisies, zinnias, poppies, and more wildflowers, probably. How cool is that? Plant one-fourth under fertile soil in warm sunlight at plus 70 degrees and keep it continuously damp. Plant when the time is right for your climate, which around here would be about May, middle of May. That is so unique. So that's what that is. That's how come it felt funny. It was, it's seeds. You plant this a quarter of the way, of the way down into the ground. Now I can't do that here. So um, maybe I'll pick out a special person this month and send this to that wants to plant them. And um, uh, I, I would like to do it for um, somebody and I'm not gonna say who, but um, I think she would like it. I don't know. Um, I will ask her and if she doesn't, then I can send it on to somebody else and put it in a, in a little Easter card or something. But isn't, isn't that special? That is so special. So anyhow, yeah. That's what you do. That I, that blows my mind. I'm so glad I took the time to read the back of that. I really am. And then I got also this little salvation bracelet. Saved through faith. For by grace you have been saved through faith. That's, that's from Ephesians 2. 9, 3, 8. I'm blind. I could read Ephesians. Or I knew Ephesians. This is a bracelet. It has little beads on one of the, it has, oh yes, it has the meaning and the color of each of those beads on the back. Um, black is sin and death, red is blood, and then there's a ver Bible verse next to it. White is forgiveness, blue is baptism, green is growth, and gold is is heaven so um it has pretty much all those colors right on there isn't that pretty i love bracelets and it's silver that is so pretty and last but not least okay on this card right here that i just skipped up uh it has all about this stuff and I'm bad about that, not picking up on stuff. Um, I just can't believe that flower seed cross. I just can't believe it. I, I've never seen anything like it. Uh, the bookmark. Okay, this is the bookmark, I think, right here that has the to and from. So I'm gonna be giving that to my mother-in-law or have my husband give it to her with a bag. But we also get a picture to frame. Every month we get a picture to frame. And I and I really do love these. And it's hard. It says he lives. And because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. Because I know he holds the future and the life is worth the living. Because he lives. The believer's box. So. That is just gorgeous. So I, I love this box. It's, it's got so many wonderful things that are shareable, that you can keep, that you can uh, just be glad to give them to somebody else because it'll make warm your heart to give them to somebody else if you can't use it or whatever. So uh, anyhow, you guys have a great day. I'm gonna keep out, <laughs> looking out the sky and making sure it's not gonna storm anymore. It's awfully humid. Um, I got so out of breath when I, and that's bad because I know the day's not that good when it's humid out. Um, I'm not gonna have good breathing days and I just got my medicine switched again yesterday. So hopefully it'll start taking hold. And the blood pressure medicine is working. And um, I, you know, I just, I'm sorry. I gotta say it again can't believe this. I am so happy I read the back of this card because <laughs> I, I don't know.
sometimes I'm not with it. I really am not. What I went down to the mailbox for is because FedEx, they've been stealing our packages. Somebody has. So I run down there if FedEx delivers something because they leave them outside in the mail room where it gets, you know, stolen. And um, then I end up running down. No, I don't run. I, I don't even remember the last time I ran. Are you kidding me? Um, my husband's surgery is scheduled for May 22nd, his hip surgery. Believe it or not, I'm going on and on, and here's 20 minutes. You guys have probably turned me off a long time ago. Anyhow, my husband's hip surgery is uh, uh, May 22nd, and they do it outpatient. Are you kidding me? In the office. It's like, what? I know they've come a long way, but darn. Um, and he has fewer limitations. I don't know. It's so crazy to me. But, um, anyhow, and then he'll be home for two weeks. I'm not really looking forward to that. But, oh, well, anyhow, uh, let's see. What else do I want to tell you? Don't know if I wanted to tell you anything else or not. Anyhow, I will be getting a hold of that person that I'm thinking about sending that cross to. And um, you guys have a great day. And please, if you're in any sort of bad weather coming up, I got the fan up above me on. So if you hear the ceiling fan, it's because I'm hot. <laughs> and I, it's warm in here and I need to open the windows and get some fresh air home. But... Um, if you guys uh, stay, stay a little bit weather, watch, watch the skies if you're in the path of all this weather that's been happening. And um, I will talk to you later. You have a great day. All right, bye. Oh, please like, subscribe, and comment. I always forget to say that. I wanna get to a thousand so we can give away some good gifts. Okay, bye-bye.